everybody, welcome back to another reaction. It's Lance with Dustin Debris for episode six of Ocean O Co. We have the grand stage set and the play shall begin. Let's dive in and see what happens in this play. I'm really, really curious and excited for this. To what's going to happen and how Aqua's going to do his thing. Okay, I would say Aqua is still in the middle of having a freaking breakdown. Well, he's, he's riding that line, I think, right? He's trying to ride the line. I'm not going to lie, I would totally see a play like this. Yeah. Oh, I think it would be amazing. They legit given us the hero opening of this play. Mm -hmm. Quite literally. I'm telling you, man, I'm surprised we're getting this all again. I'm not. It's an interesting way they can they can use CG, right? They can save money and they save frames. Yeah. It's actually brilliant. And it works really well with the storytelling. Good seats, and you don't have to worry about hearing people like clap or anything. Like that's mm -hmm. one of my worst things is watching white live things and you can't hear anything over clapping. Okay, here we go. We we have to change. It's glowing. Oh, and we got wirefu. Oh yeah. Yes. I had to keep reminding myself who's which character because they literally look like completely different characters. Right? Yeah. Bro, you better watch out for Roroni Kenjin. He'll slice you up. Right? I'd be worried about the Spider Man effect. For real. Good touch to give us the microphone, but it's flesh color. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, Kana, damn. Kana's a good actress. Dang. We are actually getting this whole ass play, pretty much. I can't believe this. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for it. I just didn't think this was going to be the episode. Yeah. <laughs> About halfway through it. We'll see. I was like, usually when people do a play, they just kind of just like do a little bit and skip forward. And then be like, I was going to oh, say, we get highlights. Yeah. Well, I think what they're doing is. I'm assuming. Is, Go ahead. Lance. They're basically setting up. Okay. Remember, these are our characters and mm -hmm. who are they being played by. Right. Mm -hmm. So then yeah. they can go into the deeper meaning of each person, I think. I would say that's what I'm assuming. I'm assuming once we actually get to like Aqua and him into acting, that's when we're going to get back to him as There's a person. Card, so. of, oh, they only yeah, did Act it's... 1. That was Act 1, okay. yeah. So intermission usually. Mm -hmm. Get your game faces on people. Oh, Melton, fucking asshole. It's like some plot of a BL. Yeah, there is some BL in this play, if I remember correctly. Oh. I'm. I can't see this guy in like his normal everyday outfit and not see a green-haired Kimma. I just can't. Yeah. Well, he's a good actor. Dang. He gets to play crazy. Of course, he loves it. They gotta act like it's on that dude who's. Ah, here we go. Zo is being thrown into stuff like this. Yeah, but the hit, that's the biggest critic <laughs> is old girl yeah. that he fucked the play up or the, the show up. Mm -hmm. Dang. I was not expecting us to hop into that. What just happened? All right. He got taken advantage of. My man was essayed. Lord. I forgot what show we were watching for a little while there. That's a good way to remind us. Mm 
And his trauma beget trauma. So he had no work ethic, no drive. Mm. Makes <laughs> Damn, when you have the regular audience pointing it out, though. Dang. <laughs> Shout out to the lighting department. You got to time that shit right. <laughs> right? Dang. Okay, I see it. That's a good point, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Oh shit. Damn. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. No, <laughs> oh, that shot. Dang. That was it. Oh. You got passing grade already. Oh. It's like, it's okay, honey. It's okay. <laughs> oh, shocked, aren't you? Mm. I just don't want to be good at the one thing you can be good at. Right? I mean, it makes sense. She can't help it. She can't turn the brain off. Right. <laughs> Well, that's her strength, and she's very good at it. I was going to say, just because yeah. that's her strength does not mean that you're dumb. But you can get an idea. Read the character, figure out what he is. Hmm. Like I do. There it is. He just found the motivation. Mm. Mm. Oh, bless his heart. Good. That's the point. Yeah, they said this entire scene supposed to be about strength. That's your biggest minute. Oh. Okay. I love this. Uh oh. Oh. Wow. 
Wow, that's bright and colorful. Yeah. Holy fuck. Good God. You were talking about them cooking this episode. God damn, the man. The artistic direction is fucking amazing. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, this is wild. Holy shit. I just need a whole, like, PV of this. Like, that's all I need. I need to go watch this on my OLED. <laughs> oh, my God. All the colors. Oh, Lord. We got to do that during the, the party. Oh, the blood. Nice. Okay. Oh, I love that mm. transition. Holy fuck, that was a scene. Damn, he's still off. Oh, he's supposed to lose in play. <laughs> yeah, I know. He didn't lose. He just outacted that performer. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. At least the audience thinks that. And this motherfucker <laughs> with like... a sheet and he grinned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, biggest critic. Hmm. Yeah, you have to follow up that performance still. Right? <laughs> Don't talk to him. He does not deserve your time. Walk away. Aww. <laughs> mm -mm. Maybe a little bit of respect. He's still an asshole. Oh my god. Hey! He leaned into those fucking emotions. Not the split hand. Uh. Hmm. Aww. Damn, Aqua. I know. I like, Hold up. Christ. <laughs> I was like, who am I looking at? <laughs> That's the title of growth. Literally, I had to stop again for a second and remind myself who these characters are. I was like, that is Aqua. I was yeah, like, if he didn't have to eye, I'd have been like, yeah. who is that? Because the smile, I was like, Aqua don't smile mm -hmm. like that. <laughs> I think that, that that goes to show you on Aqua's side that he's starting to really get into this more and more than he mm -hmm. he's trying to be his emo self with revenge, but he's enjoying this mm -hmm. more than he's trying to let himself enjoy it because of this trauma is stopping him. Um, yeah, I kind of accidentally called that in the comments. I was talking to somebody. I was like, yeah, I feel like it'll be a melt thing. Then we'll get a probably the girls and then probably Aqua if we do like three episodes and someone's like, do you mm -hmm. read the manga? I was like, no, they're like, okay. I was like, <laughs> did I call it by accident? I might have called it by accident, but it makes sense. I mean, sense. we've done that before. It makes yeah. sense by story plot wise. Like, someone to me who has, I've wrote scripts before and shit like that, it's like, it makes sense story wise. Mel isn't the biggest of these actors or the biggest storyline, mm -hmm. but he's yeah. he's the closest we've gotten. So it makes sense to lead into that after we just got the last episode and then we got the rivalry happening. But the big dramatic point is Aqua's acting at the end there. So that just wouldn't make yeah. more sense. And it's the end of the play. And this is the beginning of the play. It just makes sense. It made sense to me. But it could still be yeah. wrong. We could get Aqua next episode. I don't know. Um, but shout out our boy Melt for fucking acting his fucking ass off. And right. I think I I, I do. I, I would understand why people maybe not liked the beginning with the, how much they showed the play like that. But I like I said earlier, it just works so well with saving frames, saving money, setting up. It's a play. Mm -hmm. It just made sense. Right. So I had no issues with that. I actually really liked the artistic choice there, but you can't say anything about artistic choice and stuff like that without mentioning that fucking scene with Mel. Jesus. It's the evolution <laughs> of his yeah. life, basically. And an amazing shout out whoever the artistic director was. I might need to find the name and put that in the comments down below because that was fucking insane. Um, as soon as we're yeah. done with this uh, episode, I'm going to go watch the whole scene on my fucking OLED because <laughs> yeah. I want to see all those colors reproduced. Um, but yeah, that's that's the shit I live for, for just storytelling is really cool artistic mm -hmm. moments like that. And it really worked for his character, his story. Uh, and mm -hmm. he, he got the respect of the audience. He got the respect of the mangaka that he slighted in Sweet Today. He got the respect of the mangaka that wrote the fucking play. Um, mm -hmm. he got he, the director who got to have the shit in and grin to the producer, like, right, like I fucking told you. Um, because the dude had the factory, he just he needed to work, he needed the wake up call that Aqua and Kana gave him, and he did, he got it. And then he has to realize he has to work hard now, right? All these people have way more experience than he, he does. Um, and he can learn from that. I actually wouldn't be shocked if this is the growth for him, propelling him to a better actor yeah. going forward. 
or if we don't see him again, we don't see him again, but this is a good wrap up for his character. We know he is fine. He has fixed his issues and he's gotten better because of said issues. It's great. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's the right, considering who the magica of this whole thing is, it's the guy who did Sama. He's a good fucking writer. He knows what he's yeah. doing. He's a great character writer. I have no doubt. It's like, it's just amazing. So I think me more excited going forward, more episodes, but, um, and then he gets the respect of old boy there at the end, even though we know the old boy still fucking, Yikes, person! But he still at least earned yeah. a yeah. modicum of respect. I even if you think it's fake, I think he still was like, okay, he did act his ass off, and you could tell because the ending shot of his hand. <laughs> yeah, it's like my first thought was, Jesus Christ, you did, you acted through blood, sweat, and tears. My second thought is, you know, you have to do more than one play, right? That's how that works. Like, I, uh, you, know, yeah. you have to play Dallas's, tomorrow, I guess. You have to play tomorrow. <laughs> I was the gonna next say day. The, the the split palm is what got yeah. me. I was like, oh, his first time though, it makes sense. This is his first time, and he really put himself out there. And like mm-hmm. Agua said, if you only have w- the one minute scene, you fucking destroy that scene. And mm-hmm. you know, we'll see how the rest of the acting goes. But I'm sure, as an audience member, I would be like, holy fuck, that was amazing. So, yeah, that's what you're seen. gonna remember. Mm-hmm. I would see this play 100. percent Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that pretty much covers it. Once again, amazing stage pleasant stage play. I don't know how the rest of the season is going to top that, but I have, mm-hmm. I have confidence it will. Let us know your thoughts down below. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll talk to you all soon for another reaction.